And also just to show you that it's um, at least one of them, I'm going to basically use double on both of these. And this is going to kind of temporarily convert it to a double. So one or both of them has to be a double. In this case, this is a double. In this case, 100 is a double. Okay, you write whatever you write it in front of whatever you want as a double. And over here, both of them are doubles, so that's even fine. Okay, because all it needs is that one of the values has to be doubles. So now, when I compile this and I run it, we should see something different. Okay, now it says you win the game with a balance of 1.200. Let's try it again. Compile and I run. You win the game with a Okay, so there's something wrong actually. I was supposed to change the message. I mean, this mess I copied and pasted, so I was supposed to change it. So if the balance is one, then you win the game. If the balance is else, okay, if it's not, if it's not one, then let's say you lose the game with a balance of this. All right, so let's compile this and run this again. I should see more, more losses than wins. I was all surprised. Oh, I won. Uh, see, I'm I am that I'm that lucky. It's 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 not my fault. It's just in the blood. It's in the blood, right? I'm just that lucky. I'm just that good. <laughs> First touch and I won. All right. So just try again. I'm around this. I know I'm going to lose this one. It's fine. I, I've, I've already won. So, so it's all right. You you lost. Oh, you lose. It's fine. You lose the game. You lose the game with about you lost. Oh, you lose. It's fine. You lose the game with a balance of 1.1. Okay. Because the balance is not exactly $1. I, I lost. But if it's exactly $1, then I win like the first time. So let's run this again. You lose the game with a balance of 1.25. Run this again. You lose the game with a balance of 1.1. Okay. All right. So let's format this a little bit over here. Okay. So I have this format specifier, right? And I have what's it, what's replacing it here. Same thing here. Now I can I can round this to a certain number of decimal places. I can uh, that, that certain number of decimal places. I can round it to two decimal places. I can say I can specify the precision in between the percentage and the F. I'm going to type in 0.2 to represent two decimal places. So in between the percentage and then the F, which is a type, I'm specifying the precision. Okay, and I'm typing 0.2 for, for two decimal places. If I wanted three decimal places, I'd say 0.3. Now I want two decimal places, I'd say 0.2. And then another thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and put a dollar sign in front of the value. So I'm going to put a dollar sign in front of the percentage. Okay, another thing I want to do is I want it to automatically put commas where necessary. So if it's a million dollars, right, which is, it's, it's not really going to be a million dollars here, but I'm just, as, um, th this is good practice. If it's a million dollars, I want it to be, dis be displayed as one comma zero 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 comma zero zero zero. So I can basically type in, or I type in a comma here right in front of the position before the type. I'm putting a comma as the first thing after the percentage and saying a comma before the precision, before the type. And that's going to automatically put commas where necessary. Okay, it's going to do that automatically. You don't have to worry about it. So now I'm, I'm going to copy the same format specifier and replace this one, which is the same thing. Right? And then now let's compile it and see how it looks. Let's run this and we can see that you, you lose the game with a balance of 130. Let's run, to run this again. You lose the game with a balance of 105. You win the game with a balance of one dollar. You can see that it's working. I won again. I told you it's in the blood. <laughs> All right. So so far this looks good. It looks it looks it looks good. So um, what we can do here? Let's see. What we can do actually is just so we can see some stats of the game. We can we can print out a few things in the loop or while it's running. Right, so before the before the game starts, right? We, we, let's just display a message and say that um, before before the yeah before the game starts, let's just display a message. I'm going to use a system dot out dot print print ln regular system dot out dot print ln and say that well just system out dot print ln and say. Tossing coins, tossing coins. All right, and then in the program, in the loop itself, after it's done tossing the coins, we'll see. Over here, what should I say? Let, let's let's see how this looks like. So run, say so it's tossing coins, and then we see you win the game. I want to see how many rounds 
that how many rounds it it, it basically um, I, how many times did I trade it? How many rounds the game lasted until the, until the stats and balance hit um, one or more? Okay, so I'm going to create a variable called round. It's going to be an integer because it's going to be there for round one, round two, round three. It's going to be an integer. So I'm going to specify this as an integer and I'm going to call it round and set it to zero initially. Okay, so round is going to be zero. When the game starts, we are in round zero. Okay, we haven't started any round. And I want to basically display, each, you know, each round when 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 we are we are there. This is not required. I'm just I'm just adding this to the program, so that it becomes much more friendly. Okay, so we want to go ahead and display the round, right? So I want to basically add one. Okay, to round um to 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 round each time each iteration. So round is going to be called to what's already stored in round. Okay, plus one. Okay, if one if round was zero, I'm adding one to zero, which gives me one, and I'm adding the results one to round. If round was two, okay, let's say two, I'm adding one to two, round becomes three, and I'm storing three in round. And once I have round over here, so it starts as uh, starts off as zero, so the first time it's going to be one. Once I have it, let's just display a system that print a message, right, and say round we can say toss right and since the round variable is keeping track of our round we can use it I'm going to concatenate it to the string right so let's compile this and run it and let's see what happens okay so it says toss 1 toss 2 toss 3 toss 4 toss 5 um, we can let's actually use round this so it's so let's say round here round and then one and then let's go ahead and concatenate it with another string here with a colon and a space um, you know what let's just use a colon and a space here round okay We can even display the stats and balance with it, right? So, well, it's fine. It's fine. Let, let, let's just do this. It's fine. So, round round colon one, right? So let's see, let's see how this looks like. So, round one, two, three, four. So, this lasted four rounds, and and you lost the game. So, so it took four rounds for for the stats and balance to hit a dollar or more. And as soon as it hit hit a dollar or more, the game ended, and we got 120, so we lost. We're supposed to get one exactly one dollar to win the game. So round run this again. This lasted six rounds. I lost. This lasted six rounds. I lost. Seven rounds, still lost. I'm going, I'm going to win very soon. Five rounds lost. Oh, I won. I won. I, I won again. See, I told you. I told you guys. This is in the blood. All right. It looks like we're done, but. I want to go ahead and add a space, a line break in between tossing tossing coins, okay, a line break here, a lean line, the rounds, another line break, and then the final message, right? Oh, th this looks good when it's like that, right? It says you win the game. <laughs> All right, so let's do that. Let's add the line break. So after this is the line that displays tossing coins, right? Okay, this is the line that displays tossing coins. So we know that the system that I'll print ln after it's displayed, after it's done displaying whatever I've told it to display, it's going to end with a new line after after displaying whatever I've told it to display. So after displaying tossing coins, okay, after displaying tossing coins here, the, the position will be here. Because the system that I'll print ln always ends with a new line, new line character or a new line. So meaning after displaying whatever you told it to display, it's going to move the position from here to the beginning of the next line, right? And then stay there. And anything that comes after that system that I'll print ln, you toss in coin statement. Okay, that toss in coin. So, so basically, anything that comes after that system that I'll print ln statement that is displaying the toss in coins 
is going to be displayed from this line going. And that's why round was the next thing that, that came after the tossing coins uh, display. And that's why it, it, it started displaying from there on going. So displayed tossing coins, a system that allowed the print LN always ends with a new line character. So it moved the position from where it's at to the next line. And anything that came after it was displayed on that next line going down. We want another line break though. We want another, so after, after printing this and it moves here, we want it to move one, one step further. And we can do that with a new line character here. We can type in the backslash N. Now backslash N is this is a special, the, okay, so the backslash is an escape sequence, right? And then N is an escape character. When you type in the backslash in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in double quotes in your output, it's not going to be displayed because that backslash is a special character. I mean, it's it's just, yeah, it's a special you know kind of a special character. As soon as you type it, it's going to expect one of the special escape characters, right? So as soon as you use a backslash, it's going to expect one of the special escape characters, and n happens to be one of them. So it sees n, and it says, okay, what what the n does is it, it acts at, it's act basically it's an it, it creates a new line character. Meaning it moves the position from the, the, its current position where it's at to the next line, okay? And anything that comes after this backslash n will be displayed on that next line. So basically, this is how it's working here. System system out of print ln. We know that by default, when it's done printing, whatever you, you told it to print, it's going to end with a new line. So what happened with uh, system out of print ln was it displayed tossing coins, okay? But by default, okay. Well, so so let, let, me, let me explain it this way. So it displayed, what's, what this statement did was it displayed the tossing coins, right? And then it, after the three periods, it stayed here. And then it now saw this new line character. So it stayed here and it saw this new line character. This new line character. And the new line character basically creates a new line. It moves the position from where it's at to the next line. So it's because it's here and found the new line character, it's going to move the position from where it's at to the next line here, and it stays here. Now also, because a print system that out of print ln function, um, method, because that print system that out of print ln method always ends with a new line character, a new line or new line character, it's also going to move the position from where it's at here to the next line here, All right? So in other words, you've created an empty line here, in between here. So that, that will go ahead and create an empty line. So when I compile this and I run it, we can see that we have a line here, right? Okay, we, you can see we've created it here. Now let's do the same thing for after round seven. We want another line before the, you lose the game or you, you win the you, you win the game. So we know this is the message or this is the block that's displaying either either you win or you lose. So right before that, we can create that new line. So that's one way to do it over here. Let me go ahead and show you another way to it. The other way to do it is, you see, if you call the system dot out dot print ln method, and you tell it to display, say this. If I compile it, it's going to do exactly that. When I run this, we can see that it's displaying exactly what I what I told it to display. We can see this thing here, or this string here, has been displayed right here. Now we know that by default the print ln function after you after it displayed whatever you told it to display, okay, it ends with a new line character. Meaning after displaying this, it takes the position from here, from where it's at to the next line. So it stays here and waits. And anything that comes after that system that out of print ln statement is displayed on that next line. That's why the next thing, which is you lose the game, one of these messages was displayed. So. Um, if you call the print system that other print ln function or method and you pass in no argument, you are still telling it to print something, but this time that's something you are telling it to print is nothing. In other words, you have called the system that other print ln function, but you've you've provided nothing. So it's printing nothing. In other words, it's printing nothing. Um, yeah, so that's what it's doing. So instead of printing this 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 now, okay, it's it's going to go ahead and print out nothing on this line. Okay, and we know that by default the print, the system that out print ln uh, method always enter the new line. So after it's done printing out nothing on this line, it's also going to move the position from where it's at to the next line because by default the system that out print ln function uh, method 
does that. It ends with a new line character. So after displaying an empty line here, it's going to move the position from where it's at. Okay, the position from where it's at to the next line here. And anything that comes after that system that out print ln method with, without anything here, anything that comes after that will be displayed on that next line going. And that's why we, we, we are going to have a, an empty line here. Okay, by default, the print ln function so method ends with a new line character. So I'm, it moves from, from here. Okay, by default, the system out of print ln method ends with a new, new line character. So it moves the position from where it's at. After it's done printing an empty line, it moves the position from where it's at over here, the position from where it's at to the next line here. And anything that comes after that system out of print ln method is displayed on, the, on this next line going here. Let's try this out too. And run it and we can see that we have an empty line here we have an empty line here so the first one we use a new line character and the second one we used an empty system without a print element statement and that basically you know does it for us so let's just try one more time show you show you how lucky I am how you know how how good I am it's in my blood I told you guys right <laughs> just kidding all right so let's try run I lost I lost I lost. I won. So and in three rounds, you win the game with a balance of one, though, exactly one, though. And that's exactly what the question is asking us. OK. So if you have any questions, please comment down below, and I'll do everything to respond to them. OK. Sorry. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, take care of yourselves. Have a good night. Have a good sleep. Have a good day. Have a nice time. And as always, I'll see you next time with the next program, okay? All right then, take care, bye-bye.